Welcome back What's to the Backyard guys? Again. What's up, guys? Our um, backyard plants, the backyard of plants. <laughs> okay. We're gonna chew some plants. Get that sunflower right. in there. Let's do... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Works. Nice. We don't need spike weed. It's fun, but it's just, um... Yeah. Okay, so last time. Oh, yeah, time so we, we never finished off. the discussion last time, so wait, that's what wait, we're wait. gonna open with. So, last time we left off, we were talking about the movie theaters and specific ways to see um, <clears throat> multiple movies without paying for uh, the other movies. So, Dalton, would you like to uh, elaborate on that technique? Basically, um, you make sure that there are at least four or so movies that you wanna see. Uh, at the same time, even if they're not like super good ones, like let's say right now, I wanted to go see Avengers in Game, uh, Detective yeah. Pikachu, Spider Man. Is, still out? is it? I have no idea. Well, it's just theoretical. Um, Pikachu, um, End Game, Far From Home, Toy Story Four. Yeah, it wasn't that good. <sighs> Secret Life of Pets Two, I've heard was good. Basically, you don't have to worry about like, is this movie gonna be good enough to pay for? Cause you're not paying for it, so. <laughs> Is it gonna be good enough for me to sit through it? Is the question. Eh, yeah, it's 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 to say you can. So, uh, you have to kind of plan out what movies you're gonna go see. Like, make sure the ending times of one leads into the start of another. Buy a large popcorn and any size drink because then you can just refill stuff infinitely. Maybe, because basically once you're in there, except for the popcorn, because I mark it on the bottom after you. Uh, Get a one refill. Well, you say that, but I say that because it happens. All right, this is gonna die. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, um, wait. Do they actually mark it on the bottom after you get yeah. a refill? Mm -hmm. Except it didn't happen to us once, I think. But uh, yeah. If if you um have like a friend or something in the area. Because I know at least next to AMC, there's like a um, Chinese place that you can go to. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, you basically, you have to pay for another ticket if you leave to get food, but... Yeah. Just mark out, mark out your uh, movies, make sure the start and end times all work with each other. Never go near the, like, front place that has the guy who checks the yeah. tickets. They have security guards there now. They do, but it's yeah. like, if, if you really need to, because they have, like, couches, but if you really need to, just, like, just sit in the bathroom for 15 minutes. Just take your crap, do whatever you need to. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that'd be fun to do sometimes. I would love to do that at some point. It's on my bucket list of just, like, things that I need to say that I've done. I'd say we should do it with Spencer, but I feel like Spencer would, like... He'd get bored. Get real sp no, I feel like he'd just get real spazzy about breaking the rules and stuff. Yeah, probably right. You can place down some pads. You can. Some pad tie. Bad ties. Bow tie. And Aiden's dying, alright. Bow talks. Soccer moms. Okay. I'm not dying, I'm still standing. Elton John. <laughs> That's okay. So, at first I didn't want to see Rocket Man, and I started listening to more of Elton John's songs. And while I may not, like, respect his choices <laughs> in life, it still looks like a pretty interesting movie. Like, they did a shot-for-shot -shot remake of um, his I'm Still Standing music video, which I saw on YouTube, which looked really cool. Interesting. Um... But yeah, that, that, okay, so my list for if we did the movie hopping thing, my four movies, um, Far From Home, Yesterday, Rocket Man, um, I actually, I don't know, Secret Life of Pets 2 maybe. I wonder, so, I mean, you can see what movies are going to be released up until like the end of the year, I'm pretty sure. If you want to check that, I permit you to use your phone to do it. We, we can see if there's like later this year. I I know about. We're just gonna finish out uh, World Three. I have the MC app, so let's check this out. If we go in September, uh, cause that's when it too comes out. Let's see. John Wick Three. Mm. I guess we wouldn't have to worry about R-rated movies because. 
I well, I was gonna say. It, oh, you are over eighteen. Anyway. I, I I could get the tickets. I could be your legal brother. <laughs> I, we couldn't pass as brothers, but it, I could I could say it's like fraternal or something. Get two opening September sixth. So let's see, what's out on September sixth? I, I wonder. Could I could I buy an R-rated ticket for you? Probably. Okay. They wouldn't care. They just need an ID or something that proves that you're. Yeah. No, you I might don't. have to be at twenty-one, I but I don't know. No, R is eighteen. R is actually seventeen, but. If Simon could get into an R-rated movie, that's a scary thought. Simon would have to want to go see an R-rated movie. There are zero R-rated movies that Simon would want to see, but he could if he really wanted to. Hmm. Well, none of these look good. Look look further into the future, like 2020. Oh, I can't. It doesn't load that far. No, literally just Google movies coming out in 2020, because chances are AMC is going to have them. Movies coming. Well, oh, what theater we could do it at is the Fun Barn. And I mean, movies 10. I mean, again, it doesn't matter, because like, chances are... The thing is, okay, so the Fun Barn in Logan, Ohio is, like, the best, but at the same time the worst theater I've ever been at. It's the best because it's really cheap. Like all the foods, like it's like a dollar for a large popcorn, oh, and, like, wow. dollar hot dogs and stuff. So that's great. But the movie theaters are, I don't know, they're kind of just too loud, you know, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But uh, but that would be a really good one to hop, easy one to hop in because there's like one gar I think that just sits there. Yeah. But if you try it hard enough you'd be fine. Oh, movies opening through 2020. Yeah, just that. like see see what's out there cuz if if we can find like even three good movies out at the same time, I would totally be up for doing that and I I don't know if we could get Spencer on board. <laughs> good luck. I mean, I don't know. I it, it, it's really I think it would depend on what movies it would be cuz if it, if he really wanted to see him, he'd be like, "Yeah." What you find in mm. Scoob what? Oh, that's filming. Scoob? Scoob. Ugh. Like a scroll movie. <laughs> oh, gross. Well we already have one. <laughs> oh, the in the Heights uh, Broadway musical. No. That actually looks interesting. It's Lin Man Lin Man yeah, Lin Manuel Miranda's. Okay, the literally work. list the movies that are like coming out if they look halfway interesting. But none of them do. Not really. Uh, Mulan doesn't look interesting. Wonder Woman 84, I'd see that. Um, Ghostbusters 2020. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, there's there's literally no good movies coming out 2020 so far. Um, possibly The Eternals, if that, if that gets confirmed by Disney. Um, which is a Marvel thing. Yeah, none of these look good. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. IMD. No, that's just what I was at. Coming movies. They're doing a Croods too. What? Ew. I didn't. I don't remember much of the first one. It was literally just like the generic. If you go outside, you're gonna die, and someone goes outside and they didn't die. Like freaking whoa, revolutionary. Minions to the rise of Gru. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Watching that one, Venom 2's 2020. Let's go. Have you seen Venom yet? Uh, I don't think I have actually. That's, it's not bad. It's not like the best. Not bad. <laughs> um, you definitely not seeing Black Panther 2. I mean, I'll see it, but I'm not that excited for it. Let me see. Wait, please two. It's a lot of sequels, as well. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What? Bill and Ted's? Oh. Yeah. I think it's the third one. Which, For some reason, I thought the first one was older. Maybe it like, is. It is. How old is it? Uh, I think it's like 80s. Cause it's young Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Man, yeah, it is. But it looks it looks really cool. Like I saw one scene, it was like, "All right, oh, uh, if you're really me, then what number am I thinking of right now? Sushi Nine, dude. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that scene alone makes me want to watch the movie. Can you do the burning tree stump in the water on a lily pad? Well, yeah. 
Oh. The burning tree stump, as you called it, is freaking stupid, and we're gonna just plant them everywhere this time. Nice. Yeah, prepare right. for an extra long episode, because we're finishing out World 3. Yeah, we'll look more into the movie thing on our own time. Yeah. We can actually, like, research stuff. It's... It looks promising. Well, it doesn't look promising. <laughs> I want to do it at some point, even if it's completely on my own, because I have nothing better to do. I'm just like a bored college student. I mean, just hit me up, I'll probably be free. I know there are a few good movies coming out in like 2021, I'd like to say. Yeah. I think that's when the Doctor Strange 2 mm -hmm. movie is coming out, which looks really good. Like, there's no like trailer for it yet, but judging off of the first one, it already looks really good. All right. Okay, serious question time. What is your favorite MCU movie? Okay, so I have been asked this before, and it's literally split between four because I can't decide. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that um, Captain America: Civil War and Avengers, um, freaking not in game, the um, Infinity War. You Both liked Infinity War more than in game. I did. I in game was like. I don't know. It wasn't as satisfying as I'd like it to be. Mm. Um, you should have just made it one five-hour movie. <laughs> like it—it it was certainly a good ending. I think it was just—it could have been better. Um, I really liked Guardians of the Galaxy, both one and two. But I'm yeah. just gonna say Guardians of the Galaxy one for the sake of. The I don't best know. One. I feel like mm, I understand because that's a really good movie. But I personally like two a little bit more, just because of the. 80s music instead of the 70s music. Okay. Like the soundtrack was. Oh, this yeah. Better. I don't know, maybe. Which is good for a Guardians movie. Like the next one's gonna be 90s. Whatever that one comes out. Cause I got <laughs> James Gunn back. Oh, that was true. I forgot they uh, rehired him. They're like, you know what? Maybe money is more important than actually giving the crap about being woke. Um, so that was three. What's your fourth? But no, that's, that's technically two. I'm just oh, saying Guardians okay. of the Galaxy one. Um, I really like Doctor Strange. I know that's not a lot of people one. said that was like amazing. And then uh, trying to think the I know the original Iron Man. I'm not sure if that's like my absolute favorite. Oh, Thor three. That was the other one. That's a good one. I drank, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we're doing top five. Yeah, those um, are my top five. Okay. That's what we'll say. My top five, let's see, at the number one spot for me, <sighs> I'd say it'd be, I'd say it'd be Guardians 2. Guardians was my first, Guardians of the Galaxy 1 was my first MCU movie that I ever watched. Um, I borrowed it from my cousin and watched it when, like, in my room, when my parents weren't home or something. <laughs> um, I was like, this is a really good movie. I was like, maybe I should start getting into superhero stuff. So I like saw, what did I see with Hayden? I saw one in the theaters with Hayden. I think it was Guardians 2. Um, we saw that together and it was great. Then number two on the list, honestly, I'd say Far From Home, which was not only a phenomenal Spider-Man movie, but was also a really good MCU movie. It's like a good epilogue to the mm -hmm. saga. Um, laid a lot of ground for uh, you know, the next, uh, I guess, Phase 4 of the MCU. Mm. Um, okay, yeah, apparently, speaking of Phase 4, apparently literally everyone on the Avengers cast hates Brie Larson. <laughs> yeah. That's... Which I do, too, so it's not <laughs> not groundbreaking. As Tucker but... calls her, uh, Cosmic Karen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, jeez! Oh, Whoa! Okay, huh. okay, okay. I forgot I brought Tangle Kelp. We're just gonna. Do you not exist? <laughs> <laughs> Shh, it'll be all be over. will be over soon. Oh wow. Well. Okay, so that's number two. Number three. Um, end game. Number four. Yeah, Thor three. And then number five on my list. Yeah, I'd say Doctor Strange. That was a really good one. 
definitely better than okay black panther i don't know how that's the highest rated mcu movie right now on rotten tomatoes all the black people got together and voted it it's honestly <laughs> not that it, good. it wasn't good i i i think like, it's not even it's like like i watched it once and then i tried to get like i told mom that she needed to watch it with me so we started out on netflix but it was really boring to get into again so, I was so like, this is not happening I don't know. I I personally thought that um, Black Panther presented a very agreeable. Like, I I really agree with the political message that it was trying to instate. Well, yeah, yeah. It just that ethno states work and are the superior option of society. <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> this wasn't that good. It was better than Captain Marvel, at least. That's not a hard bar to beat. <laughs> Which. I, I, I thought it was boring. It wasn't the most exciting movie. Yeah. You're not using freezies. I know. The torch woods are better. Mm. Oh, we don't even have freezies. No, so. I didn't bring them. They're, they're both 175, and they both effectively double the damage output of these shooters, so... Mm. Sweet. But I use the torch woods because they do splash damage. Moral of the story, MCU is pretty good. Go check that out. So if you I, somehow. I have been like <laughs> the tall nut. <laughs> Wait, what's his name? It is the tall Yo, nut. It literally is tall nut. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just like how angry this guy is. It's a good pun. Um. Can people not jump over the tall nut? No. So it's like, yeah, this guy can't. The dolphins can't. And he's also, like, freaking invincible, so... Nice. Put him on the team. Put him on the team. So this is the last pool level, so we'll do Just these. for, um, clicks and teehees and ha-has. So it's, it's interesting that, um... There's, like, a theme in all of the, um, the levels here. Like, the day levels is just, like, getting you used to, um, planning stuff, basically. It's giving you the basics. The night levels are getting you used to not having any sun... The pool levels are getting you used to dealing as much damage to everything as physically possible. Okay, so hear me out. Because I just remembered this. Mm -hmm. Did you see that um, they're making Plants 3? I did. It's in pre-alpha. It looks freaking stupid. What do you think of Plants 2? It was ruined by EA, but as bad as it was, I like the sprite work in the game. Like... Yeah. At least it used sprite work and not the weird 3D models that everything seems to be going to now. Uh, oh, I was gonna say about Marvel too, so... Oh yeah. I, you have had the luxury of... Or maybe I've had the luxury, depending on how you look at it. I have been with it since the very beginning. My dad is like a comic book nerd. He grew up in the 80s. He was into a bunch of comic books. He even wrote, he like drew his own. He's like an artist, so... I have literally been with um event or yeah been with the mcu since the first avengers and technically like before then it's just when i like started caring mm. you want to hear a fun fact mm -hmm. the only iron man movie i've seen was iron man 2 Oof. The, the original iron man was like legitimately a good movie though i want to watch it it's just not like available to me right now it might be on prime but I think I thought that two was on Prime. Hmm. Cause that's how I watched two. But I'm I'm definitely down to see that in three. Um, I'm not too interested in the first two Thor movies. The first, yeah, I I would okay. So, and if you really want to understand everything and you want to like get into it, then yes, watch the first two Thor movies. If you don't care, let's I feel see. like I'm comfortable enough in my MCU knowledge that I'm fine without. Cause I already know like everything that happens in the movie. I was gonna say, if, if you're fine not knowing literally everything and filling in the details yourself, I would hear the movies I'd recommend. First of all, do, um, what, maybe? I wouldn't say the first, well, okay, you might need the first Captain America for some stuff. First Captain America almost because you really need it to relate to his character at all, because yeah. it's like... Um, first Iron Man movie... The first Thor movie, you can basically go without. Um, the don't, first... wa don't watch The Incredible Hulk. In the Incredible Hulk, I honestly forget what happens. That's the only Marvel movie that I literally could not tell you anything about. And I've seen it like twice, so... 
Um, let's see. Watch the first Avengers. That was a really good movie. That I was thought. a good movie. Um, watch all the Avengers movies. All of the those Avengers. Those are the ones you'll need. Let's see. Captain America Two: Winter Soldier. That was a good movie. Watch that one. Captain America Three was good. Yeah, all the Captain Americas were good to some yeah. degree. Um, uh, watch Doctor. St well, okay, so you won't really need Doctor Strange. This, yeah, but it's this a is, really good movie, so watch it. This is the guide of if you don't care about super like tight cohesion, but like actually want to watch good movies. Um, yeah, watch Strange. Uh, you can really skip Black Panther. It's not necessarily that important. Well, I'm thinking in order here. Guardians of the Galaxy, like I mentioned Watch earlier. those. Oh, that's a good those one. Those are good ones. Chris Pratt. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's look at the next one. Age of Ultron. Watch that one. Just because it's Avengers and just watch all the Avengers ones. Yeah, all of the Avengers are good. Um, I would say, what else even is there? Um, let's see. Homecoming. Yeah, I both Spider-Man. Those both were Spider -Man good. movies were good. I still prefer Far From Home over. Homecoming. It was a better movie, I think, but still, yeah. they were both good. Yeah, Homecoming was still good. It's one of the few MCU movies that I actually own. Um, they have Infinity War so far. But uh, yeah, that was good. I feel like we're forgetting something. There are a few like weird ones thrown Thor in. Thor 3. Thor 3 was a, very that was good a really one. good movie. You don't even need Thor 1 or 2 to understand Thor 3, so and just I haven't watch seen that. either one. <laughs> Thor 2 was the movie. Okay, no. Thor 2 is the other movie that I could tell you nothing about. I know like Loki kind of almost died. It's the one with the reality stone, right? I don't know. I, the only thing it, it I remember. It was referenced in Endgame, so. The only thing I remember is that Loki supposedly died, but then just didn't. And Thor's like, mother it. had more lines in Endgame than she did in the Thor movies. <laughs> <laughs> but also, since Thor took that hammer from that reality, that means that that reality's Thor doesn't have a hammer. Huh. Huh. Good old depressed Thor ruining timelines. <laughs> hmm. What else? Uh, Ant Man. Oh yeah, uh, I'd, I'd recommend the Ant Man movies. Both Ant Mans. I would good. say they're Ant Man Two is good. Ant Man One was like a popcorn flick, but it was it was good enough. Yeah, it was definitely better than some of the lesser MCU movies. Captain Marvel. Skip skippable. Captain Marvel. Black Panther skippable. Um. What else? Okay, we're gonna be really embarrassed if we somehow missed a movie. Do you mind looking up a list? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll just, I'll list them off and we'll say skip or no skip. I'll just say watch or skip, just go down, yeah. Yeah. Alright, Iron Man. Watch. Hulk. Skip. I mean, too. Uh, skip. Thor. Actually, you might need Iron Man 2 to know who James Rhodey is, so yeah. watch. Thor. Thor, skip. Captain America 1. Uh, watch that for Avengers. information. Watch. Roll down. Don't give me. I just want to list. <laughs> okay. Iron Man 3. Um, I'd skip that. Thor to the. Thor 2. Skip. Cap 2. Um, now watch that, yeah, Winter Soldier. Guardians 1. Watch. Ultron. Watch. Ant-Man. Watch. Two, scrolling. Cap 3. Uh, yeah, watch that. Strange. Watch. Well, you definitely need Civil War because that introduces Spider-Man. I was gonna say, some, some movies, even if you don't care, it's like, you, you can't fill in the gaps of what happened. You have to know, like, what's going on. And that one's important for, like, yeah. Anyway, Doctor Strange, watch. Guardians 2. Watch, easily. Homecoming. Watch that. Ragnarok. Watch. Panther. Skip. <laughs> Infinity War. Watch. Yeah. If you haven't seen Infinity War, what are you doing with your life? Ant-Man 2. Um, yeah, watch that. It's a good well. way to bridge the gap between the Infinity Wars. Captain Marvel. Skip. <laughs> Easy game. skip. Endgame. Watch. Easy watch. 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 Far From Home. Watch. And that's the complete list. That's all of them. I thought there were more. I guess not. 
the ones that are okay so the upcoming ones apparently uh strange 2 is coming out the eternals movie black widow black panther 2 Spider Man 3 eventually possible fantastic four mm. um, which hey the mcu if the mcu can do freaking uh what do they do good they can make ant-man interesting and they can make the fantastic four good Mm. But the issue is that we've not ever seen a bad Ant-Man movie, but we have seen multiple bad Fantastic Four I movies. I liked the first one. <sighs> okay. Ew. What is this? These are three Peters. Oh. There's a reason I didn't use them. They it's... don't even just send three in one direction? What no. is this? You have a fire thing. It covers three lanes. You don't want to know it also covers three lanes and is cheaper? Three pea shooters. Like, okay, thank you. You have a fire thing. I do, I'm gonna wait. Um. So yeah, that's our rundown on the MCU, basically. So what did you think? Have you seen the X-Men movies ever? Like the, the no, old 2000 actually, games ones? Again, I'm more of just a pure uh, MCU guy. Okay. I will admit, some of them did look interesting. Like, um, I want to see Logan. That was a freaking good movie. Like somehow they just made that. Oh movie. no! I've seen I've seen the Deadpool movies. Those are really good movies. Okay. Like if you like uh, fourth wall breaking and just general comedy mixed with actual like you know emotional stuff, watch Deadpool. That that, that that's good. So I'm going to admit I have never seen Deadpool solely because when I watch the Marvel movies, it's usually with my dad, and oh. he doesn't want to see Deadpool, so I didn't. I watched it with my dad, both of them. Hmm. Which, you know. Yeah. Was a little awkward, but at the same time, <laughs> we were able to laugh about it, so. Oh, he's crying. Yeah, no. these. That guy's been chewed on so much, and he's still going. Oh. Oh. Poor little tall nut. Put another fire guy there so you can, like. Symmetry. No. Up. Okay, right, so symmetry's already broken. I don't think we're. How is it broken? You just need another tall nut. I do. Here, actually, I can be putting spike weeds in front of the nuts. I'm gonna put it here so we can kill this guy. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really like the Deadpool movies. I'll, I'll have to watch them at some point. I honestly just, like... <sighs> movies are weird for me, because usually when I see them, it's with family. Just because it's like, if I'm doing something on my own, it's going to be playing a game and not watching a movie. That's the opposite of how I am. Like, uh, I was like looking to get into more Steve Carell stuff. So I watched the 30, 40 year old version on Netflix. That's a wildly inappropriate movie, but it's I mean, also yeah. freaking hilarious. Anything with the word virgin in the title is probably not going to be a very family Fortnite. friendly. <laughs> okay. We need more of those spiky traps for... Okay, we'll do. put him... We'll figure out where and what needs it here. It's our... Actually, okay, more of these. For whatever reason... Okay, so... It's a completely randomized what you get up here. Like, you, I guess, could go the entire game without getting a three-peter. Mm. Sometimes, though, you get the entire columns filled up with three-peters, and it's just peas everywhere, so... Peas. Peas on the water. Na -na. Nice. Wow, look at this mass destruction. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with tall nuts? I already have a row planted. I get more. <laughs> okay, frick you, just nuke. Nice. How many hits does it take to kill the Zamboni? That's a dead it, it, it is called a Zamboni. That is literally the name. Do you remember Ken Ham? I do remember Ken Ham. <laughs> I wonder what he's up to nowadays. Can him stuff. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do with squash? Waste more of those spike things in the water. What spike things? I don't those have any. Things. These are tango kelps. Yeah. They, they kill they one zombie. On yeah, what am I supposed them to do? Down so you get more slots. Just waste them. All right, squash, squash. <laughs> Holy freak! More three shooters, three shooters. 
Nice. Let's place a tunnel up there. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, Ooh. so... Uh, the Zambonis actually just squish the tall nuts if they get near them, so... <laughs> that sucks. The spike things have eyes, I just realized that. I know. Everything is living. Does the lily pads have eyes? Okay, just place more tall nuts. Just so spam tall nuts there. everywhere. Place that one there. Oh, there's something there's there. There's already one there. Uh, place it there. This is so stupid. Oh yeah, like you watch. Squish. <laughs> Oof. Squish. Oof. Do they just die? Yeah, they're just dead. And then they hit the okay, just stop squishing my tall nuts, get out of here. Frick. Okay, now you have to break symmetry. Look what you've done. <laughs> just place one somewhere so you can get These more. are pointless, just delete them immediately. These conveyor belt levels are freaking stupid on the OCD. <sighs> Ooh, another three shooter. Put them right there. That way they can, like, actually. Yeah. Because if you put them on the sides, they're not that effective. Well, we don't need. The... Okay, so look, look how fast, like, the buckets die. They're the toughest guys that you're gonna find in the pool. Okay. The Place down a fire thing there, and then another one there to get one. Why here? Because why not? Why would you put them on the front lines? Because I don't need them anymore. I have a full row. Let your attack guys be protected. Wait, what? My attack guys are protected. But you want more of them protected. The more attackers you have, the quicker it goes. Sounds like a Pokemon tip, like... <laughs> so it's like something I'd find on a loading screen of like a 2000s RPG. Look, it's a nice shape. I don't know what shape it is, but it's a shape. Oh, jeez! Nuke, nuke, nuke. Frick, I don't even have anything in this road to nuke. Nuke. Oh, sweet, we got a new three feeder. Just start one there. That's the last thing. All right, oh, and we wow, get to see was... what this sea shroom I I respond the name. We get to see what this unknown weird-looking plant does next time. Bye.